In an article on the nature of sculpture cited in the current exhibition catalog, he wrote, gestures the language of sculpture, the pose, the look of necessity precedes speech as lightning precedes thunder. In art, gesture is the most powerful means of expression in that it reveals a soul so profoundly moved that impatient to manifest itself, it chooses the most rapid signs. This precept, which constitutes the essence of his sculpted oeuvre, is evinced in his earliest student works in which he first explores the apposite gesture as an immediate and indelible sign of what is in the heart and soul, indeed the mind of the figure represented. Like so many scientists, thinkers, philosophers, and writers of the period which witnessed the birth of the disciplines of psychiatry and psychology, David was profoundly interested in psychological subtleties of human thought, emotion, and personality. In order to express and make explicit in the sculpted figure these psychological states and responses, he used anatomical exaggeration and distortion of limbs, torsos, and heads. These elements of the body could serve as signs that revealed intense inner states of being that could be readily decoded by viewers. We see all of these elements in play in his brilliant student relief of 1811, The Death of Epaminondas, which won the Prix de Rome and enabled the young sculptor to spend several years of fellowship study in the Eternal City. He represents the tragic and untimely death of the great Theban general and virtuous hero, Epaminondas, who was fatally wounded in battle by a poisoned spear and borne from the battlefield by his devoted soldiers who respond in various ways to his impending death. David represents the moment when the hero reflects on his love of country. Epaminondas had stated that he could die happily once he received the news that his army had won the battle and defeated the Spartan enemy. The emotional state of the dying hero upheld by warriors so that he can better view his shield and the range of emotions expressed by his soldiers from reserved and resigned to overwrought are conveyed through great expressiveness of body, pose, and gesture. <clears throat> 